Yes, it's a monitor on a mining rig. You know you want to do the same thing to yours. So go ahead and keep watching and I'll show you how easy it is to put one of these on your rig. Hey everyone, this is my mining rig and it's missing one thing. Actually, it's missing two more cards, but we'll get to that eventually, uh, just not this video. What it is missing is a way to easily see the screen at a glance. And I love stuff like that. So this is not an original idea from myself. I got this idea from Chump Change off of Misfit Mining Discord. And he uses these, which also has inside of it this. It's a nice little HDMI seven inch display that is 1024 by 600. True, it's not full 1080p, but you're mostly looking at text. You're looking at a minor program, constantly running type of deal. You don't need high definition. You just need to see what's going on. So let's go ahead and install this screen. I believe I want to put it like right about here because it fits there like a freaking glove. It's perfect on this cheap steel frame. And before we do that, it's real easy to see on the back of this. There's only three connections. You have your HDMI port right here. You have two micro USBs here on the side. The top one is for a touchscreen, which we won't use on HiveOS or HiveOS. Uh, the bottom one we are going to use, that is power only. This screen is powered by USB and it has a backlight on and off button. So that's all it is. Okay, so I got it mounted to my basic generic steel 6 slash 8 GPU frame here. Drilled two holes because the holes that were in here were not in the correct spacing. And just put two screws and nuts through the top. The bottom is floating so this way the unit can flex a little bit and not mess up the PCB. But it is quite sturdy. It barely moves back and forth at all. So that will be safe and good. Now, it originally came with this little tiny rinky dink HDMI cable and a really short USB cable probably what 15 16 inches or so and this is only what 12 remember this screen was originally made to go with a Raspberry Pi and the Pi would usually mount literally right on the back of this screen type of deal so this is perfect for a Raspberry Pi but not for our purposes so instead I got a longer three foot micro USB cable for power and I also have a nice cheap and easy 4k compatible big freaking deal braided Amazon basics HDMI cable so let me go ahead and wire these from the front here into the back of the motherboard and we'll continue onward okay so on the back I ran the HDMI and the micro USB from the front of the case this is the back of my motherboard if I unplug the networking real quick so you can see what's going on here Here's the USB, just an available USB power, and underneath here is the HDMI to the motherboard. That's all you gotta do. So let's go back up to the front of the rig and turn it on. Okay, so before we turn it on, we must do the obligatory, ah, down here. Peel, peel, ah, fingers work. Peel, there we go. Now we can turn it on. Okay, we can see HDMI. Nothing yet. Let's see if we can see the BIOS. And, okay, it already went through the BIOS. That was the high boss boot screen. And here we go. We are booting in. That quickly. <laughs> And there we go. We are now at my mining screen. I can see exactly what's going on anytime. If I want to, right below the USB input, you can feel the button. All I can do is just turn off the screen if you want to save like two or three watts or you can leave it on, no big deal. It's a TFT screen. It really shouldn't burn in, but if you want to, you can turn it off. So if you like this nice little addition to your mining rig, Go ahead and right below the video description, I will have all the links for the parts that you need to do this. This is less than $100 total for everything. 
I will also have a link down to Misfit Mining Discord if you care to come and join us there. Uh, this is where I got the original idea. I help out and chat in there a little bit, but I'm not a moderator or anything like that. Trust me, everyone in there is very helpful if you have mining questions, so go ahead and check it out. If you like this video, thumbs up, please. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. It even helps the algorithm. Go figure. And I will see you on the next video.